Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gaming and welcome to my Black Ops Cold War. In this video, we'll be checking out what changed since the re-release of the R1 Shadowhunter crossbow alongside the new Miami Strike map which is coming next week with the mid-season update. And if you guys are excited for the mid-season update, then make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's start off with the crossbow first and to unlock it via the challenge, all you have to do is use a weapon with no attachments at all, get 3 one-shot one-kill medals in 15 different matches. Now just make sure you cannot back out once you get the 3 because you have to finish the game for it to count. Now like I told you guys in my previous video, there is two ways you can go about completing this challenge. Oh and by the way, if you haven't seen my previous video, make sure to go check it out if you want to know everything that's coming in the mid-season update. But the first way is to use a shotgun with no attachments, go into hardcore and that's gonna be one shot, one kill all day every day. And the second way is you can use a sniper, whether in core or hardcore, it doesn't matter, using no attachments and once again that's gonna be one shot, one kill all day every day. You can choose either of the two. Now of course you can choose whatever you're comfortable with using, but I recommend you guys to pick a shotgun gun with no attachments and going to hardcore that's gonna be much easier for everybody staying on the topic of the crossbow let's talk about a very very welcome change and that comes in terms of the challenges for you to unlock gold now you're probably saying well what do you mean by that well let me tell you when the crossbow was accidentally released about a week ago the challenges for you to unlock gold were the first one was kill 30 enemies then the second one was get 50 long shots and then the third one was get two kills without down 20 times they all sound easy however the remaining camos were the difficult one because one of them required you to destroy 50 equipment scores you or vehicles in multiplayer okay the other camo challenge required you to shoot and kill 50 enemies while taking cover from you and then another challenge required you to destroy three score tricks on enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times and the last challenge will require you to get double kills 25 times now if these challenges sound familiar they should because they are the same challenges for the m79 thumper yes that's right because they were both added into the special category of their weapons they both had the same challenges to unlock gold however since then track actually ended up changing these challenges and making them much much better and easier what challenges did they exactly change well let me tell you the challenge that required you to destroy 50 score streaks equipment or vehicles in multiplayer that has been changed to get 50 headshots which makes it considerably easier in my opinion and the other challenge that required you to destroy three score streaks in a single game 10 times that has been changed to get five one shot one kill in a single game 10 times like i said in my opinion i think this has made it considerably easier getting gold on the crossbow the challenges previous to this one where you had to destroy kill streaks or vehicles that was just going to be tough and annoying so i think changing it to getting one shot one kill five times and they get 50 headshots i think these are much much better but i would love to read what you guys think about this and which one do you prefer so make sure to comment in the section down below do you prefer the challenges before or the challenges now but as you guys know this cannot be a call of duty update without making the cod community angry <laughs> And that comes in the terms of the attachments for the crossbow and I'm not gonna lie it is very disappointing the fact that you can only change the optic on the crossbow. What? What on earth is that? Come on game. But yes you heard completely right you can only change the optic on the crossbow unlike modern warfare where you can change the bolts, the optics, you can put explosive rounds, fire rounds. That was much much better in my opinion however unfortunately in black ops cold war the only attachment that you can change is the optic and to be honest with you guys that is absolutely absolutely disappointing. But hey let's hope for the future maybe they change that maybe we can add some explosive or fire rounds or even add some other attachments I think that would be cool okay that would do it for the crossbow now let's talk about the new map that's coming in the mid-season update next week and there is none other than everybody's favorite map Miami as you guys know Miami in Black Ops Cold War is absolutely trash of a map not only it's night time which makes it very very hard to see and a lot of camping in that map and the fact that Miami is too big for 6v6 you have all this combination which makes it absolutely trash however the map might be just safe how you may ask well let me tell you in the mid-season update that's coming next week they are releasing a weather variant for the map alongside some layout changes as you guys can see in front of you right now they have changed it from night time to daytime which hopefully should make it more visible and less camping but not only that the layout has also changed they have made it much smaller they have cut off some of the edges and i will have a before and an after image on the screen right now hopefully these changes will make the map miami playable and hopefully hopefully it get rid of the campers because if you think about it the map is actually good the nighttime map it looks absolutely stunning one of the most beautiful maps in this game however when it comes to gameplay it is just not good because it is too big and the visibility issues but like i said hopefully with these changes it makes it more playable but i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm super super excited not only for the crossbow and of course stay tuned for a video once i complete these 11 matches which should be very very soon expect a video showcasing the crossbow and i am also excited for the new miami variant map miami strike which should make the map a bit better to play and of course stay tuned for a video on that as well but with that being said i don't want to take too much of your time if you haven't seen my previous video make sure to go check it out and if you guys are excited Start for the mid-season update then make sure to see for the like button for everything call of duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and join the notification squad and i'll catch you guys later